Welcome to part two of my seven cord wood shed. So again, this is not a how-to video. It's merely just a idea that, that you may be able to use to, to help out your situation with your wood. But, uh, but anyway, so since I posted the original video um, just after I completed the first shed, um, I've of course filled this one up for the most part. And I've also added an extension onto this wood shed. So the original was 12 wide and I added an, a 12 foot extension to it. So again, 12 by roughly 18 will give you, uh, the way I've got it stacked, about seven cords. So this will be a uh, 14 cord wood shed when I get both sides filled up. So um, if you will notice here, again, this is not a how-to video, but I wanted to point out just how I took advantage of some material that I had and that I could get real cheap. Um, so I ran my rafters from side to side and instead of using lathing strips, that way I got my span. I've got a clear span of, of about 11 foot. Um, and so um, I used two by sixes. Now the, the one on the right I got from a local sawmill and the one on the left was actually some uh, really good deal pressure treated I got from a uh, home improvement store. So um, again, take advantage of what you can get your hands on. Now the 10, um, if you'll take a look at like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, most um, places, at least around the North Carolina area, you can find some really good deals on, on like remnants, 10 remnants. Now on, on the, the top, if, if you start looking real close, you'll be able to see I've used everything from red, white, brown, black 10. It's what you can get your hands on, right? So if you are going to be able to see it from anywhere, just put a coat of paint on it when you get done. You know, pay 20 bucks for a, a can of paint at a Home Depot or Lowe's, and that way it all gets a uniform color. But anyway, so you can see I used uh, some recycled telephone poles. I've got some cedar posts here. I used um, pallet skids, reinforced them. And um, also you will notice that I've got all of, all of my wood on pallets that gets good airflow underneath and also space the wood stacks by about 10 in, uh, about six to 10 inches where, where it made sense in some cases, maybe even four inches. But anyway, just to get some good airflow in between the stacks. So um, the other nice thing about the way I actually made and positioned this woodshed is I can get to both ends. So I've got two bays now and I can get to each end of the bay. So if you can tell, I've got a, um, this is the homemade wood splitter I'm, I did in, in another one of my videos, if you've checked it out. But anyway, it's a horizontal wood splitter now. Um, it's really nice if you've never used a horizontal pusher type uh, wood splitter. But anyway, so what I can do is back it into the back and as soon as I come off the wood splitter, I go straight onto the stack. So in this particular wood shed, I can get eight stacks. So I can get four from one end, four from the other end. That cuts down on a lot of the handling. As you know, um, working firewood is extremely labor intensive. So any step that you can save or a little bit of back work that you can save definitely helps out. So anyway, hopefully, hopefully you get some ideas from this and uh, check out some of my other videos, and uh, we do appreciate you tuning in. Thanks.